and welcome to another episode of Hope at Home for Kids. Did you guys have an amazing Christmas? I bet you did. My Christmas was great. It was so good. It was a chance for everybody to get together and to celebrate, you know who, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus. Well, let's finish off this season and this series by getting into the Bible and uh, telling the story about how God gave us Jesus, who is the best gift ever. But before we do, I think I smell some cooking from someone good looking, and she's here to help us out with this week's weekly saying. All right, so point up, say, Jesus is my king. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Point up, say, Jesus is my king. Oh, good job, everybody. And guess what? We're not done. It is time for our lesson, so we're going to go back to teacher Candace. Take it away, girl. Thank you so much, Chef Buns, for helping us out with this week's weekly saying. But now it's time for the da 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 Bible lesson. Are you guys ready? Awesome. Let's finish strong. So today our Bible lesson comes to us from Matthew chapter 2. Everybody say, Matthew chapter 2. Good job. And we're going to talk about how everybody in the whole world, Israelites, non-Israelites, people who knew about God and people who didn't know about God, were being shown that God had made Jesus and Jesus had now been born. When Jesus was born, there were some men from the east, a men from faraway lands who were super smart, super wise, who knew a lot about a lot of things. And they knew that the son of man was born. They knew that the king of kings the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, had been born, and they walked all the way to Jerusalem, um, and they wanted to meet up with the king and ask them if he knew where Jesus was, where this king was born. So they went to the Jewish leader, and they asked King Herod, uh, King, do you know that God sent his son, that the Messiah, that the Lord of Lords has been born? Do you know where he's at? And when King Herod heard this, he was upset. You see, he liked being king. He liked his palace and all his servants and his money, and he didn't want another king to come take his place. So when he heard these wise men say that the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the savior, um, the rightful king was coming, had been born, he devised a plan to uh, make sure that he knew where Jesus was at so he could go meet him and stop him from becoming king. You see, King Herod, he had a hard heart, a very cold heart. He didn't know God. He was living his own way. And like I said, he wanted to keep his job. So he wanted to put a stop to this king that was born becoming king and taking his place. So he said he learned from the Old Testament that the Savior had been born in Bethlehem, in a manger, and he decided that he would have these wise men go and find Jesus for him. He said, oh, he's in Bethlehem. Go on your way. Go make a way. Find him. And when you find him, let me know where he lives and where he's at so I could go visit him and bring him a present. But he was lying. He wanted to know where Jesus was at so he can stop him from becoming a king. Ah. Uh, but, you know, how silly that king is because, hello, Jesus is the son of God. So, of course, God, just like he does with us, is going to protect his children. Amen? Amen. So the men continued on to Bethlehem, and they were actually following the star that was leading them the, to Jesus. And it brought them to the house of Mary and Joseph and Jesus. And by this time, Jesus was a toddler. He was maybe like two or three. And by the time they got there and they saw him, they knew right away 
that he was Jesus, that he was the King of kings, the Lords of lords, and our Savior. And when they saw Jesus, even though Jesus was a baby, was a little baby, they fell down and they worshipped him. They knew that God had anointed Jesus and they just sensed God's presence. So they bowed down and they started worshipping him. They were so excited. I mean, imagine meeting baby Jesus and you just see him and you're just flooded with love and joy and comfort, knowing that God's Spirit is upon him. And he's here on earth ready to help us and to save us and to make a way for us to be with God forever. Isn't that so amazing? I'm sure I would have fallen on the floor too. And you know what? When they came, they brought him presents, I guess to celebrate his birthday, but also they were just so excited to meet this savior, this king. So they brought him presents to honor him. And they brought gold because he's a king and kings uh, have gold and they wear gold. They have crowns. Um, They also brought him frankincense because they recognize that he is the son of God. They brought him myrrh because they recognized that he would have to make the sacrifice by going to the cross um, so that we could choose to be with God and in God's family forever. So they brought him these gifts, and he accepted these gifts. And these men, even though they were from another nation, even though they weren't from Israel or from Bethlehem, they knew that Jesus was the one true living God. They knew that God was the one true living God. And they came all the way over here to find Jesus because they realized that Jesus was for them, that even though they didn't know all of God and know all of God's ways yet, they knew when they met Jesus that Jesus loved them and that Jesus was for them. And you know what? Jesus is for you too and me and your mom and your dad and your aunt and your uncle and everybody that you know. Jesus is for everybody. And guess what? After they gave Jesus the gifts, they worshiped him, they actually went a different way home because God warned them that King Herod was going to come after Jesus. So they uh, wanted to keep Jesus safe so that he could teach, he could grow up, and then teach, and heal us, and then go to the cross to be our king, our savior. Amen. How awesome is that, that they uh, they tricked the, the king because the, tri- the king was trying to trick them, right? Right. Isn't God amazing? He gave us the best gift ever, Jesus. So let's thank God together. Everybody, let's pray. Father God, thank you for giving us Jesus. Thank you for loving us so much that you gave your one and only son so that we could choose to be a part of your family forever. Help us today and every day to trust and to follow Jesus in everything we say and everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, everyone. Well, we'll see you next time. Happy New Year, and thanks for turning uh, for tuning in. Bye, everyone.